Hi everyone and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're making a brand new My Little Pony custom. We're going to be making Miss Mane. Miss Mane is part of Equestrian Legend whose story was told by Rarity in Campfire Tales. To make her, I'm going to be using Princess Cadence and this is because she has a very elegant body and also a longer horn. So I can't wait to see what Miss Mane is going to look like. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is cut off the mane and this is because we're going to redo the hair so we're going to cut off the original hair and we're also going to cut off the tail. We'll also be cutting off the wings. Miss Mane is a unicorn and has no wings. Next, using acetone, I'm going to remove the glitter on her feet. We need to take out the remaining hair. To do this, we're going to take off her head. And underneath her head, you can see there's a little neck plug that we need to remove. Using an X-Acto knife, we're going to carefully cut around this plug and take it out. Now we're going to reach in with our long nose pliers and remove the remaining hairs. The next thing we're going to do is using some oven bake clay and build her outfit. So we're going to start with her shirt. I'm using a light shimmery blue and so using flat pieces, I'm just going to patch it over her body in the shape of her shirt. Then using a lighter blue color, we're going to add a collar. Taking a darker blue stacked with a lighter blue, we're going to wrap this around her waist. Taking another flat piece, I'm going to fold it into the shape of a bow and place it on the front. This is what she looks like right now. She looks really cute. I also use some clay to make her horn a little bit curved. The next thing we're going to do is reshape the eyes. I'm going to be using white and draw over Cadence's eyes. And the reason why we're doing this first is because I want to make sure the eyes are balanced. Once we have the general shape of the eyes, I'm going to paint the body a very light pinkish lavender color. To add gradient colors to her hooves and her horn, I'm going to be using a sponge. So we're going to put a little bit of white next to her pinkish lavender and we're going to sponge it onto her horn and also her feet. Now we're ready to finish the eyes. Using black, I'm going to line her eyes. Give her some lashes. Using a darker lavender color, we're going to color in her eyeshadow. Then using a light green color, we're going to color her irises. Now we're going to give her black pupils. Now we're going to dot her eyes with white. And finally, we're going to paint in her cutie mark. So I'm going to be using two shades of green for this. Miss Mane has flowy mane and tail, very similar to Princess Luna and Princess Celestia. Instead of using hair like I usually do, I'm going to be making some hair wefts using acrylic yarn. I've used this technique before for fluff of puff, so if you have not seen how that's done, you can go to that video to see how I do it. 
This is the end result of brushing out the acrylic yarn. I'm using white this time because I didn't want to buy a whole roll of green yarn just for one pony. So this time we're going to color it using pastels. Before we straighten out a hair, I'm going to take my pastels in different colors of green and we're going to just rub it into the hair. So I'm going to start with a lighter green and then a darker green and even mix in a little bit of blue. With the hair colored, I'm going to take my flat iron, we're going to turn it on and straighten out the hair. And look at that, it's looking really, really nice. Now that the hair is nice and straight, you're going to cut it off and glue down the ends. And again, if you want to see a more detailed video of this, you can watch my Fluffle video which has it in a little bit more details. Now we're going to glue the hair on. I'm going to start with the bangs and then we're going to work our way down the head. And then for the tail, we're going to take a bit of this hair and roll it up. And we're going to roll it up again with another bit of hair until we have it about the size of her tail. And now we're going to attach it to her back. The next thing I want to do for this custom is to make the dragon. Miss Main uses her magic to make a dragon to fight Sable Spirit. And I just think that dragon is really cool. I've already shaped the head out of oven baked clay and now we're going to add some whiskers to it. And also lengthen the rest of the body. And to make it more stable, I'm going to use a piece of wire. So we're going to stick this through the head and shape the rest of the clay around the wire. To make the belly of the dragon, I'm going to use a flat piece of clay. I'm going to notch it all the way down. And then we're going to put this on the belly part of the dragon. And here is a dragon all baked. It's looking really, really cool. So now we're going to paint it. I'm going to be using pearl paint. So we're going to start with the white one first to give it a coat of white. And then we're going to go over it with green. Alright everyone, so we are done with Miss Main. What do you guys think? I think it's a really good idea to use the clay for her outfit because that gives it a really nice dimensional look like she's actually wearing something and the other thing that I really liked is the hair so I've always thought about the flowy hair that Princess Celestia and Princess Luna had and wanted to mimic it and finally after I did Fluffle Puff I thought you know what we can do this for hair too so I thought um, this would be a great way to kind of show the mane and the tail flowing and another lesson that I learned is that I don't need to buy the yarn in the colors that I need. Instead, I just buy the white ones and then color it. <laughs> Which turned out really great too because now you can see different gradients of green in here. There's a the little bit of the lighter green and in here there's that um, darker green inside. So I thought that turned out really cool. And it kind of has that little uh, flowy effect because this hair is... Um, is really soft and it kind of stands up on its own a little bit. You kind of like troll hair. <laughs> so I think she turned out really cool looking, but of course I wanted to make this dragon. She's one of the equestrian legends and so I thought she needs to have a magical creature to uh, go with her. So I made this dragon inside it uh, that's holding it up is this piece of wire which really helped in um, and shaping it and also baking it. There is not a lot of details. Uh, usually a part would put scales or uh, something like that. But being that this is a mystical creature, it's more of um, kind of an energy, I just thought, you know, I'll paint it with a pearl color and we can 
can kind of just put it next to Miss Mane here and she'll look great. So here she is with the dragon right next to her. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of cool effect. The dragon kind of blends into her hair too. Alright, so let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my custom. And if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!